Okay, I got my uh, crash test center all set up since I don't really have a actual crash test center. Maybe I will someday, but right now my wall will just have to do. So we are now going to officially crash my crash test car. Oh, crash car. I got Vince, no not Vince, I have Dash right here in the driver's seat. I got the uh, steering cap on. I we're ready to go. We're going to test the si the simulation of wearing your safety belt. As you can see, once I take off the roof, dash is safely buckled in the car with the cap on. Put the roof back on. Let's go and crash this baby. Alright, as you can see, the windshield has now popped off. Dash is safely buckled behind the seat. In his seat. He has not hit the steering wheel. The roof has not really completely sheared off as you can see. It's still kind of attached, but as you know, I moved it, it's no longer attached. Since this seat wasn't buckled, if he was sitting right there, he probably would have ejected right through the windshield. And of course, both tires have uh, popped off. So now let's put them back together. We'll do another situation. We all right, got my car back together. Let's try this again. I'm on the make ready, and one, four, two, we go. Okay, let's look at the damage. Roof is completely sheared off. Dummy would have went right into the steering column, even though the airbag did deploy. It probably wouldn't have saved him from smashing his head right into the windshield had it not sheared off. Let's put the let's put the cap on. As you can see, same situation as before, only the steering cap is now on. Pretty much the same result as before, only he would have slammed right here into the steering cap. So, once again, always buckle your safety belts. And now... Once again... Crashed. But the safety belt saved his life. And possibly yours too, if you ever got into the same situation. Alright. Now, poor Dash. Don't worry, it's what he gets paid for. We're gonna have him go through the windshield now. Alright, he's all unbuckled. Let's see him go through this windshield glass now. Ooh. 
buddy. That would probably kill you. Now, I'm just going to say this. The car is probably only going less than five miles an hour. Maybe 10, 15 miles an hour on impact, and he still went through the windshield. Now, just imagine and landed on the car. Now, just imagine if that was you going 50. Not only would you have went th through the windshield, you would have went through and probably went through the pavement. Into the pavement. Another clear example why you should always wear your safety belt. So in conclusion of this little crash review, these toys were fun. They were awesomely good. They were awesomely fun. However, they did teach you a little bit to not be a dummy and always wear your safety belt. Because if not, this could be you. All over the pavement like that. Like that dummy. They did teach you valuable lessons, but of course it was always fun to just crash the cars. It was always fun to see them go through the windshield. It was funny as a kid, but now looking back as an adult, these were really good educational toys. They taught you to be safe on the roadways so you don't end up like a dummy. This is Trans8010 with another review. I hope you tune in next time. I'm hoping to get a little bit more Crash Dummy stuff. They're a little bit hard to find, and some of them are a bit pricey, but... <sighs> hmm. As an adult, these toys really aren't that much fun anymore, to come to think about it. They're more educational value than fun toys. Which is another reason why these toys were so great. So, anyway, this is Trans8010 before I start rambling again. This is Trans8010. Be safe. Buckle your belts. Look at that. Roof became unsheared. He must have hit that right there across the neck. Look at that. Always wear your safety belt.